Over the last eight years we've raised $300,000 which goes into a secure trust fund and in the last three years we've actually given out $33,000 uh, to eight community based organisations like L2R and Youth Junction uh, who do wonderful work with young people in their education, training and their wellbeing. So I'm Barry Harvey and I'm the Chair of the Brimbank Community Fund Advisory Committee. And as a business person it makes common sense I think to roll up your sleeves and give something back to the community and help the community grow and develop. The relationship between the Brimbank Community Fund and Lord Mayor's Charitable Foundation is that Brimbank's fund is a sub-fund of our larger public fund. Community philanthropy works as a model because it's about building a public fund through the collective giving of a community and for the income of this fund to be used to address the issues of the day. As the oldest and largest community foundation in Australia, Lord Mayor's Charitable Foundation play an important role in enabling local communities like Brimbank to provide opportunities for people to give locally and for these funds to be used to help shape their community. So my name is Jacinda and I'm a dancer, choreographer and the founder and CEO of L2R Next Gen. Panda Squad is a free weekly hip hop dance program for children aged 6 to 12 years and it runs every Monday here at the Busy Hub Youth Centre in Sunshine. So it's free hip hop dance for young kids that potentially can't access classes due to social or socioeconomic barriers. There is a need for Panda Squad and the need is to have a free fun dance space for children uh, that's accessible and that breaks down social barriers and is really accepting for kids from all different walks of life. So the Broombank Community Fund helped Panda Squad by allowing us to employ a teaching artist. It also allowed us to get an assistant for the teaching artist because of the success of the program. We now have about 15 to 20 kids enrolled so it's really important that we're able to you know, have enough teachers in that room to make it a fun, safe environment. We also got some cool t-shirts for the kids so that, you know, that provided a bit of unity amongst the young kids so that when we go and do performances in community, they're all in their fresh little, you know, get up. Yeah, it's really just about trying to find that funding to keep it running. My name is Riak Riak. I, I got involved in the Friday night program at the start, I just came on as a, just as a volunteer to help out. We start off with young African and Sudanese males going there to play soccer. For me, it just gives a good positive place for you to go to play soccer, socialise with friends. You know you're not going to get any scrutiny from anyone. Since it's every Friday, it gives some kind of a routine to some of these kids that might not have, might not have a routine in their life. You know? So at least they know every Friday they're going to go play soccer. Personally, uh, on Friday night football, what I get is to stay fit, healthy, and also I look forward to play really, really hard and just get very, very tight. So when I go home, I get a really nice sleep for, um, you know, so I can get up the next day and do something positive. Getting this money from the Brimbank Community Fund will help us continue the program first and foremost, which is, I think is very important because consistency is very important to getting results. I'm hoping that this program will hopefully bring out some more leaders in the community and hopefully just, yeah, just positive image. It's successful because it's supported by generous minded people um, with the same input that communities really desire and need um, with great support by the Brimbank City Council and of course the Lord Mayor's Charitable Fund and a whole range of generous community minded people in our, in our area that support this fund and the partnerships that are grown and, and, and fostered through that partnership. We're all stronger together so I encourage everybody to get behind the Brimbank Community Fund.